Now a group of boaters saved at sea after an emergency on the water. Uh, they were out fishing when their boat capsized off Sunny Isles Beach. Local 10 News reporter Louis Aguirre live now on Holliver Beach with a dramatic rescue and one survivor's story. Louis. Tell you what, those boaters were very lucky. They were only a mile offshore when their boat capsized. A couple of lifeguards from Holliver saw the whole thing go down. They called 911. Fire rescue was notified just in the nick of time. I almost died. And this ain't fun, man. Ten boaters counting their blessings after their idyllic fishing trip off Sunny Isles Beach turned into a titanic nightmare. Yeah, it was a bit frightening, you know. The boat kind of capsized, taking in a lot of water. Sky 10 above the scene just before 5.30 Tuesday afternoon when those ten friends were rescued by Miami-Dade fire. Their boat capsizing in the ocean after one of them noticed a 22-foot well craft was suddenly taking on water a lot of water like gallons and gallons and meanwhile we started passing out the life vests and making sure everybody had a life vest you felt the whole other side of the boat coming over people were holding on to one side literally falling off like titanic all 10 of them climbing on top of the hole once the boat flipped haul over lifeguards on wave runners responding in less than 10 minutes the rescue team did an amazing job getting down i'm glad we okay but i don't want to talk about it man the captain too shaken up to talk, but others visibly grateful this fish tale had a happy ending. I survived. That's what happened. The Lord is great. I would say it's pretty lit. Like, I survived the ocean. You know, that's something, that's something crazy. Pretty crazy indeed. All 10 of them not injured during the entire ordeal. At this point, it's not known what caused that boat to take on so much water. Uh, the captain, the owner of the boat, says it was not insured. That boat's a total loss. FWC is taken over from here. They're going to remove the boat before it becomes a hazard to other uh, marine vehicles and marine wildlife. But I guess the most important thing here is that all 10 of them survived this without any injury, and then all 10 of them had a life vest on board. We're live in Hollover Marina, Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News.